I listen to you again, listen to him, roll out this one on one. Alright. Well, this place, if you can add it, remember, it shows me at least 262 miles, or if you want, you can make it to 353 miles, excuse me, 53 miles. Alright. A couple more lessons down the road, we'll do some comparing work, comparing work. And, alright? Class, what I show you that. I think four weeks. No, not that. We'll make it two weeks. symbol for the National Park. The two color shade. And I'm going to point to you a National Park. What else you can roll at with? <laughs> This is the Madeline National Park. Now, in terms of National Park, in most parks, you have to pay a fee. Now, the black line right there is a fee, mean fee. Let me tie it.
Let me try to show you. I am going to turn to another national park. This time, we'll go with Rocky Mountain National Park. But yeah, we're going to have to roll out with. Alright. The fee is right there. They have to pay. And now the part can be high effective. But there is a difference as well. You can get in and get the part for free if you have disability disabled person. Let me write this down as well. Let me write this down. Disabled car. Mean that you can get into the national park for free. Now let's do one more. Let's do the other symbol here. A lot of times you might see this symbol at the National Park. It's called a point of. Point of interest, right there. Now I'll show you in a California National Park. Let's land at the Royal Atlas one more time. Alright, there's a theme again, and there's a point of interest right there, like called a Simona Rural Dinosaurus. There's another point of interest called Yosemite Nest, Yosemite Fall. And Yosemite Fall, I say it's a I think it's the highest waterfall in the United States. Anyway, we're going to do another symbol play this time about National Park to see what you understand so far. Anyway, that's it for the lesson. Have a nice day.